This is a demonstration of a new feature we're adding this summer, 2017. Uh, now we're gonna, teams are going to be able to do meet entry, not just from by swimmer and by event, but also from the meet eligibility report. So I've selected my meet first, and then I'm going to go to the meet eligibility report, and I'll select uh, the filters that I want, and let's refresh that. And then once the swimmers and events come back, uh, you'll see that the entries in green indicate that the swimmer is entered into those events. Uh, if I wanted to remove a swimmer for an event, I can double click. When it turns white, it has been saved. Uh, if I want to add a swimmer to an event, I'm just going to also double click. So let me just take some swimmers out. Then I'm going to put some swimmers back in. And as soon as it turns green, it means it has been saved. You'll notice a flash of yellow. Um, that's just what we're doing temporarily until it's saved successfully. So it would stay yellow if it didn't save successfully. Same with the delete process. And that's pretty much it. That's how easy it's going to be to do some entries from the meet eligibility report. Uh, it will. It does work on rules such as whether or not um, you require an official time. So these empty boxes would not work for um, meets where an official time, uh, a time, is required. Uh, it will also work with standards. So if there's time standards, if the time meets the standard, it will work. If it doesn't, it will let you know that the time does not meet the standard. You will have to go to the uh, meet entry. Uh, by swimmer to do things like bonus events or swimming a swimmer up in an age group to a higher age group and things like that. Um, the only other rule that this doesn't uh, yet have but will shortly is the number of events a swimmer is allowed to swim in. So right now it will allow you to put a swimmer in all events uh, even if the meet only allows say three individual events. So we will be adding that shortly but wanted to show you the feature in the meantime. Hope you'll like it.